as usual, don't you up my kilted curve. Why do you insist on chanting his name every single time I come out? The amount of evidence you've had through the years, that man actually hates all of you. The only person he hates more than the fans is himself. Yo, you ever love someone so much that doesn't quite love you back as much? And that's my complex relationship with professional wrestling. Say what if you French kiss your cousins? You're sick. You don't understand complex relationships because half you guys in here, the most complex relationship you've ever had is with your right hand. Well, I could sit here and I could complain all night, but I'm not going to do that. Even though at WrestleMania I was attacked from behind by that coward CM Punk, then Damian Priest, who could never beat me one on one, used that briefcase like a coward. And then the next day on Raw, I didn't get my automatic rematch like everyone else. No, number one contender four way, still competing like a real man. Punk interferes again, then Jay Uso takes advantage like a damn coward. I'm not going to complain now, as usual for Drew McIntyre's backs against the wall. I'm going to come out swinging. I'm going to target my next prize, which is the king of the ring. When it comes to next week, I don't give a damn about the draft or where I am. What's going on, man? I don't get it. For sitting in the ring here, sulking, complaining about how everybody's a coward, yeah? How are you, by the way? But let's be honest, man. All I see is the only person here who's not going to take responsibility for his own mistakes. And some might say, that makes you a coward. You know, you're going to just sit there or you're going to stand up? Or, huh? Oh man. After all this time, I think I've earned that respect. I've known you 20 years. 20 years and for the last four, all I've heard you talk about is how you were robbed of your career to find a WrestleMania moment. And then at WrestleMania 40, you did it. You did it. You got your moments. You became the world heavyweight champion in front of a live WrestleMania crowd. Your brother John Galloway flew over from Scotland. He was there. Your wife Caitlin was in the crowd and decided to give her a kiss. She gave her a big hug. And then you blew it. You blew it. Over some stupid social media spot. You should be standing here with that World Heavyweight Championship around your waist. I mean, but over a meme and a t-shirt, you just threw it all away like that. I mean, am I supposed to keep wearing black after that public humiliation? That thing burial at WrestleMania? Listen, I'm your friend. We've traveled the world together. We've had epic booze ups together. And we have had banner after banner. After banner, after banner, 
Octo Parker, much together. So what's your friends I'm here to tell you the hard truth? A one-armed CM Punk kicked your ass. I don't care what they think they know. You know what that man did to me. You know how he affected my career when I was a kid. You know better than anybody. This obsession, fella. This obsession is taking down your career. It's only getting out of your head. All right. You want to do this in front of the world? This has been a conversation we had backstage. You want to tell the hard truths right now, fella? That's what you want to do. Okay. Before you were injured. It was banger after banger after banger. But since you've returned, it looks to me like it's been burger after burger after burger. I'll tell you what, man. Since I've been off, I've been watching it. You're getting really good, those one liners, Scott. I'll tell you, I'll give you that. And I deserve that, right? But the thing is, Drew, I can lose the weight. You can't lose stupid. So stop blaming everybody else for your mistakes. It is everybody else. The burger after burger. The ginger Pillsbury Doughboy. Flubber man. That's not my words. That is what those guys in the back were saying during your match last week. And I was standing up for you. I don't care. I don't care. You can say what they want. It doesn't bother me. I care what they say. Because I'm your friend. And whether you realize it or not, or they realize that I tell the truth every single week. And I'm your only friend here. In the past, we'd throw fists, then we'd have some pints afterwards. I'm past that. I only fight if it's worthwhile. This right now, this isn't worthwhile. But I'm still there for you. I'm gonna go ringside. I'm gonna stand by that table. And I'm gonna watch your back.